The FIVB Beach Volleyball Swatch World Tour is in Brazil for the first event of the season. The planet's best players going head-to-head -head in search of glory. All the action coming right up here in Brasilia. Hello and welcome to the nation's capital city as we get ready for gold medal action from the women's event. Glenn Lucas here with you as China take on Brazil. Both teams have made it to the final undefeated, but something has to give in this match. China seeded at three for the event. Zhu Chen and uh, Zhang Zi looking very good indeed. As to the weather conditions, it's hot, it's sunny. There's a bit of a breeze, and it's perfect for a gold medal match. First glimpse of Zhu Chen, 23 years of age, from Fujian. Ten seasons on tour, just under $600,000 to her name. Zhang Zi, the left-handed defender of the partnership from Nantong. 184 in height. And up against a very formidable Brazilian team. Maria Antonelli, who's the defender in the partnership, 28 years of age, from Rio. And her playing partner, the very talented Telita, who also resides in Rio. 12 first place finishes on the tour for her. Is it going to be a 13th here in Brasilia? We're going to find out very shortly. Before any of the action gets underway, it'll be time to meet the referees first up and on the stand from Portugal, Rui, Rui Cavalho and uh, Rui will be very ably assisted by Dan Apple from the USA wish those two the best of luck hope they have a good game but now it will be time to meet the two teams going after gold best result for China here has been a seventh and the best result for Brazil has been a fifth so both teams exceeding any kind of expectations having made it to that gold medal match and for one team it's going to be a career first gold in Brasilia so first up then Zhu Chen she'll be doing most of the blocking and unlikely to be doing a lot of hitting. Most teams tend to go after Zheng Zi, even though she's a left-hander and difficult to stop. They feel that she's probably the weaker of the two players offensively as she comes out onto court. But both very formidable players. Bronze medalists in Beijing. They're looking to go better than that this year. They're certainly uh, stating their intent, aren't they? Making it through to the final here at the first event. Undefeated. So too. Antonelli and Talita. Out onto court comes Maria Elisa Mendes. Tip on Antonelli. To a huge applause, as you might expect from the home fans. And her playing partner, Talita Antonis de Rocha. She'll be doing all the blocking and most of the setting if uh, it goes according to plan. I mean, most teams will serve at Maria. Antonelli into to, to so we've got most teams serve at Jiang Zi, so we can expect to see that. You never know, there might be a change of tactics. That will be revealed during the course of the match. First set about to get underway. Brazil in yellow, serving with Antonelli. China in red, receiving. And it's Zheng Zi who's going to have the first attack. And it's a good one off the block, down the line. Talita gets a touch, but can't keep it in play. China have the first point on the board. 
Cheng Zi will go back to serve. Nice wipe off. A taste of things to come for Brazil. Zhu Chen is a very good blocker. She gets very high above the net and across it as well. That's a nice wipe from Salita. Unforced error. Things he thought it was in, but it's right under the referee's nose. Make your own mind up. The ball shadowing the line does not make it in, unlike indoors. It has to actually hit the line. That's what makes Zheng Zi so difficult to stop. The left-hander going from the right side of court can open up that cross-court angle very easily. Then if she lets the ball drift, she can just as easily go to the line. Interesting tactic that China are going after Talita. At the moment, it's just about working. Neither player touching that. Well, Zhang Zi was there. She expected the ball to travel a little bit further. Tinelli. Well, easily done by Zhu Chen. Block signalled by Zhu Chen. And they're going after Talita again. Right on to the line from Talita. Zhu Chen jumping into the cross court. And away from the block. That's a great shot. Both teams at the top of their game coming into this gold medal match. Both teams showing off their skills. Nice work, Zheng Zi, just having seen Antonelli move to her left, puts the ball back to the right. No disguise on that one, it was just a delay in the hit from Talita, and that forced Zheng Zi to move and opened up the cross court. Antonelli with the serve, going with the jumper, well passed, and well put away. Cross-court block signal with the two fingers against Antonelli line block here against Talita signalled. Well, good pick up, has to come over. Block counts as a touch on the beach. Another chance here, better chance now for China. Um, really well taken. Lots of power from Zhang Zi. Off the net as well. Lovely pick up. Sees it's in play, Keep, gets up early and then wraps that one to the line. And China just forced the issue to move themselves in front. And they move themselves further in front. First pass, or first serve to Antonelli, and it gives them a point. Now the coach has been working overtime. 
and he's paying dividends at the moment. Three-point lead here for China. That was the speed of the attack from Celita that got it past Zhu Chen's block. She didn't wait, she went up, hit early, and was able to beat the block. a look sees the lines on gets a little bit of luck well that's a good serve but some good work from Brazil as well to pass that and get back to the net that's what makes them such good teams even under pressure from the serve they're able to tidy everything up and get back to a position to hit the ball Nicely done. Oh, brilliant. Brazil left flat-footed. Great work off the net. This is really difficult because it's rolled right down the net as well. And very calmly done by China. And a deft touch from Zhang Zi. And China have the point. Zhu Chen delayed the block, but then she didn't really commit to it when she went up. Lacked a bit of height. Jumped away from the ball. Good swing across the body from Zhu Chen. Very fast arm. Kept her height. Looks cross court. Whips it back to the line. Something for the crowd to shout about. Good work from Antonelli, and then she's up. And with a little bit of help from the net, gets the point for Brazil. Technical timeout. Just couldn't quite get high enough to lead to be able to throw the ball down. Good reactions from China, and then from a standing start, Zhu oh, Chen gets up and thumps it cross court. That's probably about as far apart as the teams would like to be in a match. So we have a look at the high-speed camera in action. 2,000 frames a second, slow down, gives you these kind of pictures. Most cameras work at 25 frames a second, or 29 frames a second. This is what 2,000 frames a second gives you. Good roll shot from Antonelli. But it's Brazil here who have to force the issue. They need a couple of points from the serving line. China's side out has been pretty impressive.
a bit of luck for Brazil. Antonelli's pass could have gone anywhere, but as it is, it popped right up onto the net and Talita able to go with the pokey. Break from the net was a little too late. Zhang Zi had no problem at all putting this one away. Always difficult to break to the cross court as well when you're blocking line. Well, blocking in the line position, she would have been blocking cross court, which is why she's ran cross court in the break. Absolutely, yeah. just not committing to that hit. I think she saw there was a defender there and tried to change what she was doing. Zhang Zi's read it. Just put Talita off. As she's trying to go even cuter with the angle. That's better. Up higher, hit harder. Ball goes down quicker. And Brazil have the point. It's a good bump set, and China tidy up the point very nicely. Nice pass from Antonelli. But a great block from Zhu Chen. That ball was a little tight to the net. Antonelli wanted to hit it cross court. And she is denied by a very good block from Zhu Chen. Brazil call the timeout at the last possible second, just to give them as much time as possible before China get to serve again. Well, Brazil with plenty to say, China with nothing to say. Game plan's working. We'll look at the slow-mo. High speed camera. Carlos. Pure athleticism. Celso Eduardo Lago Costa. Celso Eduardo Lago Costa também ganhou a bolinha do topo do Brasil. As primeiras promoções do Facebook. TV nos esportes. Good pick up. Touched in the block, that's why it's gone back over. But Brazil stick with it and they get their point. The line wobbling tells you all you need to know. Ball was in. For a touch that wasn't given. And he is convinced it did touch Talita. It's a long way wide. And it was no touch. Unforced error, China. No. Oh, that was unlucky. Antonelli was in covering behind Talita, and then Talita's played it away from Antonelli. The touch in the block, that's what the block's there to do. Slow the ball down. Just a bit of confusion. Side out, but 
but they need some points from the serving line. And it's just not happening for them at the moment. A good touch. But they can't make anything of it. in that one Su Chen jumping into the cross court Zhang Zi running to the line they're never going to stop that one oh Talita gets away with it in net touch given against China Talita thought for the moment she'd uh, messed that one up. She knew she didn't com commit herself in the block. And there's the net touch. Well spotted by the referees. Well, there's one point back. A little bit of pressure now on China to get their side out. Not the toughest of serves the end result China have side out and they're two away from taking the first set it's amazing to see the players getting beat to the outside defending cross court and score confirmation China with some pretty solid volleyball in that first set. Both teams with unforced errors, but China with just a couple. So we'll look at some of the highlights. Team in your picture, it could be a straight set to victory. Antonelli and Salita with plenty of work to do as they step on court for the start of set two. from Zhang Zi and at last China have a point on the board. 
crowd go quiet. So the whistles ring out around centre court as China serve, but doesn't distract China. Zhang Zi and she may go well, she probably would have got onto that had it not rolled along the top of the net. Brazil don't care. They've got another point. Talita serving will come through to block. Oh, that was really well done from Zhang Zi. Just waited to see what was going on, and a little chip shot just over the block. Antonelli couldn't get there. with the ball and they know they have a little bit of work to do here Brazil off to a very good start in this set and they're continuing that run of form as well Talita getting in on the act with a good spike great power at least a meter and a half off the net but still able to deliver He's not giving up on anything in this set. Easy leave. The atmosphere has changed here on centre court with the way Brazil have started this second set. China are under pressure. And we get out of that one. Perfectly okay for the ball to touch the top of the net. If it lands in, if it's going in, you play on. If it's going in, where are you going to leave it? Su Chen getting over the top of Talita in the block, putting that one away cross court. That's a great swing. Well, Chen Su to serve, she's going to come through and block. To on that occasion, and Antonelli seeing that Genzu had broken from the net, decided to drop it short, but she didn't commit to the ball, doesn't really get a hand through it to get enough on it, stops on contact. That's a schoolboy error or schoolgirl error in this occasion. Line block signal both sides. But still, though, Genzu wanted to jump into the cross court. 
And she has a quick look to Zhang Zi saying, you sure you didn't mean cross court? No, she meant line, and that's exactly what Chen Zhu didn't do. Good call and a good leave. Have to be disciplined when you're in the throes of a, a rally. The signal's given, you've got to heed it, you have to stick to it. You can't go deciding what you want to do. So it's a different call this time. Line block against Antonet Antonelli and a cross-court block against Talita. This time jumping into the line, doing her job and getting the point. So the tactics work perfectly for China and it puts them on level terms. Stepped inside, but they went back to the line. A good disguise, good fakey from Zhu Chen, and it uh, comes up with a big point for them. Stera from Antonelli. Doesn't hit up onto the ball. She hit down on it, but she didn't have the height in which to do that. So the net gets in the way. China with a two-point advantage. Cross court now against Antonelli. A little change in tactics from China. And it comes right towards where Zhu Chen was waiting at the net. Antonelli can't even get a swing on it. And we hit the technical timeout. China leading by three. Great watch by Zhu Chen. Pokes it over the top of Antonelli. And onto the sand. Brazil started so brightly in this second set. Just beginning to move away from them. Their three point lead is now a three point deficit. For those of you watching and know your Portuguese will have a good insight into what Antonelli and Talita are saying. But it's pretty simple. For those of you that don't speak Portuguese, they've just got to cut down on the unforced errors. Make China play the ball. Don't give them any cheap points. So China have got their lead so far. Cheng Zi with the serve. Back to the action. Won't. The pokey is too long. Zhu Chen delayed the block, made a good touch and then a good recovery. But this time, the radar wasn't quite working for Zheng Zi. Oh, that was him. Well, that, that, that was the replay. Fortunately, that replay is not shown on centre court. This one definitely in. Just two behind now. Could be one behind here. It is one behind with the help of the net. But that just shows us how fragile Antonelli's game is at the moment. That net is becoming a real feature of her play, but not always for the better. legislate for that. Zhang Zi shouldn't be worrying too much about it. But certainly China worrying enough to call a timeout. They don't really want to go to three sets if they can help it.
Teams are back out onto court and ready to go again. Antonelli with the serve. Talita at the net. Strong rotation here for Brazil. If China tried to go over on two, there's already the best blocker at the net waiting. And Chen Zhu getting tasked with an opportunity to hit. Goes with the pokey. Good enough. Just getting higher than Antonelli and Talita. Can't do nothing in the block. Zhangzi to serve. That's tight. But still Brazil keeping it in play, but not any longer. Zhu Chen is working her magic at the net for China. Good touch. And then this ball was should have been easy really for Brazil. It was made very difficult. And in the end, point for China. Is it starting to slip away from them? Looks like we've got a medical timeout on our hands here. Indeed we have, so five minutes allowed here for Brazil. It's Antonelli who's hurt herself. Might be some strapping applied to the ankle. Just to uh, restrict the movement. Going with a bit of the magic spray. I mean, she might have done that. She's okay there. Or was it when she went chasing after the ball? The, the sand's so uneven, it's not like running around indoors. Maybe that's even people who uh, just walked on the beach will know how difficult it is. step before she went over that caused her the problem but it is indeed being strapped up that spray that was being applied was a form of glue just to help with the uh, bandaging and that will have a bit of tape applied to that to keep it in oh yes there you can see that the foot as that foot comes down it's not facing forwards and so she goes over on it it's landed awkwardly value in the super slow-mo and a genuine medical timeout we have seen fast players use medical timeouts because they don't have timeouts left the FIVB introduced a new rule whereby you're only permitted two medical timeouts per season per player so four as a team after that if you call a medical timeout you get fined a thousand dollars and if you call another one it's two thousand and so on this is in a bid to uh, stop players from abusing the system. Of course, if there are genuine, if you see a player running into another player or a player running into a post or something that we can all see is, oh, that looks painful, then that doesn't come into play. But if there's something innocuous, that's when it comes into play. Well, the strapping is continuing to be applied so we're not taking any chances it's going to restrict her movement no question of that certainly there'll be no problems with her lateral movement and that looks like what's where the issue is you can see from the strapping they're just trying to now she's just trying to get some movement forwards and backwards so she can actually run both ankles strapped. Let's hope Antonelli is good to go.
China, whilst all that has been going on, have just been keeping moving. They're serving. So Antonelli's good to go. Fans delighted. And we can get back to the action here on centre court in this gold medal match. Strapped up and ready to go. And it'll be China with the serve. Yang Zi with the ball. But it's a silencing block from Zhu Chen against Antonelli. And trouble for Brazil. Take a genius to know where China are going to go here. They're going to keep on Antonelli. Cross court block signaled against her. Line block against Talita. That one going across, making it difficult. So Talita gets to have a swing. Going inside Zhu Chen. And just getting it past Jiang Zi. Threading the needle with this one. In for China. Moving further away from Brazil here and closer to gold. Just Talita got her hands in a bit of a muddle as she goes to play this. So Antonelli gets the wipe and a roar of applause from the fans. But they need points desperately. Right through the arms. Field goal for Antonelli. That's not what Brazil need. They have to make China play the ball at the very least. No pressure at all on China. They get the ball back cheaply. They don't have to work for it. They haven't expended any energy. Change up. Line block signaled now against Antonelli. It just shows you the mindset of the players making decisions as they go about what they want to do, what's right at the time. And the break proves to be successful. Antonelli trying to put the ball into the corner and she's overcooked it. Smallest of margins. And now Brazil call a timeout. And this match is beginning to fade away. Antonelli to an Antonelli. China just need two points for gold. Still focused and in the zone. Still yeah, a lot of work to do. Defeated. It's been a very solid first event for them as they stake their intentions ahead of the Olympic Games in London. They took bronze in Beijing. Are oh, they going to go better? They've taken a gold here in Brasilia and have broken Brazil's dominance of this tournament. It was Juliana and Larissa who have won on the last three occasions. And it's China who have their name in top spot here in 2012. <laughs> Well, 
Well, coming up next, we'll have the medal ceremony. Before that, though, we can get a word from our champions. Joining them down on the sand is Luca Ceccolini, who's going to have a word with uh, Chen Zhu and Zhang Zi very shortly. Confirmation of the scores for you. Straight sets victory for China. They can hear from them very shortly as they get ready to tell us. Okay. Okay, when you're ready. Okay. Chen Zhi, a 10th victory on the FOB Swatch World Tour. Uh, tell us how you feel. Uh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> <laughs> Very happy to win it again. We didn't think this result before. <laughs> because this is a... Uh, um, when we're going to the semi-final, that, that's the best uh, result we've ever been in Brazil. So this is uh, the present. Yeah, give me the confidence. And now, three events in China. You must be very excited with the form you have. Very excited to be playing in front of your own cra uh, crowd. Yes, I, I, will, uh, I think uh, in the China, I, uh, we will be better. You, you think that as well, Chen? You think you must be better even China? That's very impressive. Yeah, it's a, it's a good thing is a hometown, but the bad thing is a lot of the pressure. But we're going to balance this. Congratulations once again. Well done.